Hey everyone, this is Norgile13 coming at you with another review. Um, kind of a highly anticipated review for me. This is the new so Sogook or so Sogook, however you pronounce it. I, I, we've been calling it Sogook. We're gonna go with that. Um, it's the new ice hose tip that just came out. Um, and yeah, so. And just to let you guys know, we are smoking Simply Mint out of this to, you know, kind of helps. I mean, I don't know. It it helps add the cooling effect yeah. with all the mints. That's what we... Because, you know, mints always have that nice cooling effect. So we're just going to kind of add the doubleness of cooling onto it. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, so we've had this in the freezer all night. So, and I have, cause we have smoked out of it a couple times before because we wanted to kind of try to get a feel for it and understand what we should, you know, talk to you guys about as to whether or not it's good or better than, say, the Mystique Ice Hose Tip. And this, too, has been freezing all night. We're going to use this to kind of let you guys know the differences between these, this, the Mystique Ice Hose Tip and the Sagook Ice Hose Tip. So, explain the coolness. Well... It's definitely, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd have to say this is about a 9 on the cooling effect in the beginning. Definitely, um, it definitely makes everything smoother as most ice hose tips do, which is really nice. Um, the, the thing I like most about this tip, though, is with the difference between this and this, that has, like, ice pouches inside of it, which is nice because, I mean, they're it, pouches of it, ice. Well, and then, and then it goes straight through, you know, and gets all that cooling from it. But um, with this, it's a straight rod, straight through, and then it's surrounded by a... Um, it's, I think, I believe it's vegetable oil, vegetable oil based glycerin or something like that. So instead of, like, this one, it's, they're just water packets. Because, you know, if they were to break, since they're inside the thing, you know, you don't want crap going in your throat and killing you. <laughs> yeah. Um, which this stuff, too, you know, if it were to break, it wouldn't kill you. I don't believe. No, it shouldn't, it's vegetable. <laughs> but I like the fact that the it's just a straight shot. There's nothing blocking it, kind of like with this, how it's got the pouches to semi-block it and whatnot. Um, I feel like this one, we'd, we'd obviously, after a month or so, we'll finally realize. Um, I don't believe that this one's going to get stained as much with different flavors and whatnot as that would because, I mean, the packets themselves... They're made out of plastic, you know, so, so they'll absorb kind of the yeah. taste. And I have, I have noticed, I clean it out every once in a while, you know, I don't just not clean it. But you can already kind of see, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that, but the ice packets are definitely discolored from... I've had this for maybe, I'm, I want to say four months, four or five months, maybe up to half a year. Um, so over that time, these have definitely gotten stained by the smoke coming through and turning, making them yellowish brown. Um, um, with this, what's nice is it'll fit on any hose tip um, for like, if you have a metal tip with like a ball at the end, it's got a rubber seal that you can put on. The, the other end of this is the same thing. It's uh, rubber on both sides, but you pop this on and then it seals over your little ball and whatnot. So it fits yeah. on any hose. Um, you can buy a um, little extension thing for different hoses, such as the one we're smoking out of, which yeah. is really nice. For the one for a normal Namor or Kalimo moon hose with a removable tip, um, you can. I know on Hookah Shisha, that's where I got this from. They give you the option to purchase a Egyptian. Um, I mind blank here the the rubber stopper, Egyptian rubber stopper, whatever they're called. I mind blank. Um, and then you put it on there, like that. And, and then it just kind of fits in there and seals. It kind of it kind of wobbles around and whatnot, but you know it's not that big of a deal. You know if you take care, if you you know don't hold it from here, hold it from down there. You know. And what's also nice about this one compared to this one, you can hold it right here, and it won't. Your hand, the warmth of your hand won't melt, melt it so to say. So it gets warmer faster. This one's less quite a bit longer than that. That one lasts about, what would you say, a good 45 minutes of being pretty much fully cold yeah. before it starts to lose its coldness and whatnot as... But in total, if you were to count the actual coldness, this one would probably last about two hours, I'd say. Even after, you know, it kind of cools down to just a little bit of coldness. So... Um... I will say for 
the looks wise, I like this one a lot better because it's a lot more kind of sleek feeling and and whatnot. Um, yeah, and then we'll get into the kind of difference in the coldness right now. You know, these both just came out of the freezer, so. So the difference is, I think that one's smoother when you hit it with the coldness, but this one, in the start, is definitely colder. A lot, a lot oh, colder. But being that this one is just water and ice packets, it's to be expected a little. Um, it won't last as long, which is the one bummer about this uh, tip compared to the Saduk. Yeah. Or Sagook, sorry. Yeah, online it says this one is supposed to last, I want. I think it was three to five hours or something, three to four hours, maybe? Something like that, maybe two to three hours. Um, and I think this one's only supposed to last like pretty much two hours, which is what we've gotten it to last for. Um, but... In general, yeah, I, I definitely at this point in time, so far from the couple times that we've used that tip, definitely I prefer that one over this. In if you're if you're going for a longer session and whatnot, if you're not, then I think it's a tie. Yeah, between I don't the know. Two, I mean, it's it's yeah, it's really it's really back and forth. This one looks a lot nicer, you know. That one's just kind of like you know, it's there. Um, and also for the cooling wise, um, you know. That one starts out really cold, lasts about maybe a good half hour, and then it kind of drains down right slow, away. Yeah. This one, um, it's a lot it, it, it does start out cold. Not as cold as that one, but it does start out really cold, in our opinions at least. Um, but then it actually does end up lasting a lot longer than that one. Cause, I mean, like, this one starts out cold and maybe... All right, so... Um, Sorry for the delay. Yeah, well, there's no delay on YouTube, but yeah. I'll have to edit this in. Our camera ran out of memory, which is why you might notice that it cut out really randomly. Um, but, so pretty much, yeah. This They both start out pretty decently cold, but this one shoots down a lot faster and gets more to a semi-cold. But this one still lasts probably about maybe a good extra hour more than that one. Oh, yeah. So this one lasts longer, but this one is a lot more cold for longer. But this, I mean, this is still cold, but it goes down to more of a moderate cold. So it really just depends on, you know, if you're having a short hookah session, that's the way to go. If you're having a long hookah session, this is probably more likely the way to go. Or if you're like us, we freeze them both, start with that one, and then we move on to this one. So <laughs> if you have the money and time to buy both of them, you know. The um, only semi-downside for me is we we like to use tips because good old cocoa tips that's just i don't know that's just our preferences the only bad thing and about if, yeah if you notice this one you know fits perfectly in there like a normal namor hose or something like that seal this one thing. throw it in there there's no seal it just it's a falls in there big. so so this is too big now i'm sure you could probably get the you know female version you know to stick over it and then, if you're like me, I, I know a buddy of mine who went to the hookah bar, and he, you know, the, this was too small, so he used the one that they gave him, the female one, put it on there, and then put this one on there. So we could probably do that, and it might work. Um, but other than that, it doesn't, you know, fit. Directly. You know, a normal cocoa tip. If you were to get the female add-on one, you know, that one will probably work just fine. But if you're like me and you really like cocoa tips, it doesn't work, sadly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. But between the two, definitely shorter version, shorter session, I'd use this one. Longer session, I'd go with the Sugu. Pretty much. Long story short. But yeah, so. Yeah. That's the two, the two most recent tips. Um, main one, obviously, that we're going for is the Sugu. Definitely recommend it if you uh, looking to buy even your first one. It's definitely it's still nice. Yeah, it's definitely. Also, the, the also the other only downside is that this one is I don't want to say fifteen bucks more than that one. So if you want to go cheap, I definitely recommend that one. Um, but you know if you have the money for it and you want it to last for long sessions, I would def I would recommend this one. Um, it really all depends on 
how you, what your price range is and how long you want to go, so on and so forth. If you have any questions, you know, comment down below and I'll answer it for you. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all we can say about the Sogook. I guess if we were to go into ratings between these two, I'd give that maybe like a 9 out of 10 and this maybe like... It'd be very close, you know, it's like like we were saying, you know, they're both kind of have different situations. I'd say maybe this one would be more about like more like an 8.5, maybe a 9.9 9 out of 10 to also, you know, they're both very close, but they just have different situations that you want exactly. to solve. Exactly, it just, it all depends on what you're doing, how long you want to do it for, where you are, it, it's in your personal preference. Yeah, or if you're just looking for a nice big kick of coldness and you're not worried about how long it lasts. So other than that, it's a good product, you know, if you want an ice hose tip, if you don't like how this one looks and this one looks better, go and buy that. It's really your personal preference. So other than that, that's all we can say about it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks, guys.